This is probably the most exciting time in my life. I didn't realize it really until opening night. There's nothing like it. The first day the, the, on the show day in Atlanta, I was kind of the nervous wreck. And right before the show, when the lights went out and I heard the crowd yelling, I, I didn't know what I was going to do. I thought I was going to pee in my pants. <laughs> The opening number's pretty phenomenal, because that's with all the dancers and major wonderful things happening. Paul Abdul se presentó a sala llena en Miami. Allí cantó sus grandes hits, acompañada por nueve músicos, ocho bailarines y una de las escenografías más elaboradas que se han visto en mucho tiempo. It's a high-level set. There are elevators and... and Different things are happening. There's um, using for the first time these these uh, video walls. The show is physically demanding. There's a lot of dancing going on. You touch the there are a couple numbers where there's techni technical support on that, some of the heavy dance choreographed numbers, up tempo stuff. The singing for me was extremely important. The dancing I knew would be there, but I wanted to be able to project vocally. So we had to change a lot of stuff. I mean, I would, if it were up to me, I'd be doing all the same choreography as my dancers, but there's no way. Straight up now, tell me. There's some fun parts where I'm dancing against the actual image that was projected in the video. So it's going back and forth live to the video image. I always wanted to do this, and now I'm doing it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Ese fue el primer tour de Paula Abdul. 